right? Everybody's wondering about the end days and everything like it is, but you got to realize everything's going the way it's supposed to go. I know it sounds crazy, but it's going the way it's supposed to go. God already said this all was going to happen. Revelations 20, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up, set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Listen to me, folks. The beast is the system. Everybody knows about the system and the beast. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years are finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that takes part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is of the sand of the sea. Four corners of the earth, okay? These are going to be everybody against God. People who don't believe in God. People who believe in their system and what they do. That's really what it's going to be from the four corners of the earth. It's going to be all people that are against God. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about in the beloved city. And the fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white horse and him that sat on it, whose name, whose face, the earth and the, listen, whose face, the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things, which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whatsoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And if you read further, folks, that's Revelation 20. But if you read further, it tells you all about what's going to happen in the end days. Folks, listen to me. This Everything's going to happen. The kings are going to be gathered to that great battle, to a place called Armageddon. That means they're against God. They're for themselves. They don't believe in God. Remember this. Be ready. Get your Bible. Get your prayer. Be ready. God bless.